Hi beekeepers, Jenna here from Man Lake. Welcome to the September edition of the Beekeepers Buzz for the North. So I am based out of our Minnesota location, uh, which is the far north and September weather is, is still really nice, but it is not too early to start thinking about winter. So right now you should have harvested your honey or will be doing so very soon if you have not already. As soon as you get your honey off of your hives, it's gonna be very important that you follow up with a mite check and a mite treatment. Um, so when you're doing your mite check, you're gonna to wanna to use a Varroa Easy Check or the University of Minnesota makes a really nice kit for doing an alcohol wash. It's a good idea to just do the alcohol wash so you know your mite level ahead of doing your treatment to make sure that your treatment is effective. So today I'm gonna to talk about a few treatments that I like to use in the fall, there are other treatments out there. Um, they, they would work for you as well. It's just in my rotation, this is, this is what I like to do, depending on time of year and when I actually get around to treating my bees. Obviously, in the fall, the earlier is the better because you want young, healthy bees going into winter. And I know it's only September and I'm saying winter a lot, but like I said, now is the time to get your bees ready. So what I like to do, depending on the temperatures, if I can, I like to use a product called Formic Pro. Uh, the Formic Pro is a formic acid based treatment. It's very effective. It's gonna kill mites both on the bees and within the capped brood comb. So you're gonna get a really good overall mite kill with this product. Uh, the big thing with the Formic Pro is it is temperature sensitive. So you don't wanna use this product if your daytime highs are gonna be in the 80s. So it's, if I'm treating early on in September or the end of August, I'll generally stay away from this. If I'm a little late in the game, that's when I like to use the Formic because it's a 14 day treatment, so it's a relatively quick treatment. Now, if it's, the temperatures aren't really cooperating and I'm treating earlier in the fall, what I like to do is actually start with a product called HopGuard. So HopGuard is an all natural based treatment. Um, it's made from hops, which is like what they make beer from. So it's very safe and gentle to use on your bees and also very effective. So what I like to do is start with my HopGuard treatment and that's gonna be two strips per brood box, put it in the hive, leave it in for 14 days, and then follow it up with either another treatment of the HopGuard or a treatment of Apovar, which is gonna be a longer lasting kind of slow release treatment. So you're gonna get a really good mite knockdown doing that with those two treatments consecutively. Now where I'm at in Minnesota, again, timing is gonna be very, very important with the Apovar because Apovar is a six week treatment and I need to pull those strips out six weeks from now. So the temperatures might be great when you put that in, but you need to think about what is the weather gonna be doing six weeks from now. So if it's towards the end of September, generally I'm not gonna put the apple bar in. I'll follow up with a second treatment of HopGuard instead. So really, if, if you're having a hard time deciding what treatment to do, you can always give our customer service team a call and they'd be happy to walk through the options. And like I said, there are a lot of different mite treatments out there. These are just the ones that I prefer to use on my personal hives in the fall and rotate through. I'll usually do the hop guard one year, formic another year. That way I'm not using the same treatment every year. So after I've pulled my honey, taking care of mites, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you're feeding your bees. It's gonna be really important that they've got adequate stores for the winter months and you don't want your bees to start eating honey that they have stored away too early on in the season to where they're gonna run out during the winter. So I generally, as soon as I pull my supers off, I'll throw a patty on. So whether you do the regular Ultra Patty, the Plus, or our rocket fuel, all of them are gonna be a good option, a good pollen substitute for your bees to give them the protein that they need to still raise a little bit of brood so you again have young, healthy bees going into the winter. And then I also like to offer them ProSuite. So that's generally what I'm doing as I'm coming out of August into September to get my bees ready for winter. There's a lot of things yet that we need to do. So I think for the next edition for October, we're gonna talk a little bit about winterizing your hive and different products that you can use. But for now, we're just gonna go with treat for mites and feed your bees. And if you like this video, like and subscribe for more, and we'll be happy to get more content out for you. Thank you.